We all know that wheelchairs help many people get around, but have you ever stopped and wondered who actually invented them? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. No one can say for sure when the very first wheelchair was made, but we do know that they've been around for a pretty long time. The oldest known wheeled furniture comes from a stone engraving on an ancient Chinese tablet that's more than 2,500 years old. This ancient version of a wheelchair was basically a wheelbarrow that was refitted to carry someone around. Not ideal, but people used what they had access to. It was another thousand years or so before wheeled seats made specifically to carry people with disabilities around started to show up in Chinese art. The only problem was these chairs still needed to be pushed by someone else. Over in Europe, there weren't many options all the way up until the late 1500s when a similar design to the ancient Chinese version was finally developed, and only because the King of Spain needed one. It was a chair truly fit for a king, with elaborate armrests, footrests, plush cushions, and gold accents. It basically looked like a giant lounge chair with wheels to push him around like, well, a king. So, this invention was a lot more like a portable throne than a modern-day self-propelling wheelchair. Those finally came along about 50 years later in 1655. That was the year a 22-year-old German watchmaker named Stefan Farfler built the world's first self-propelling wheelchair. His design was intense, almost like an oversized boxcar with three wheels like a tricycle. The person in the chair would move themselves with a series of cranks, cogs, levers, and gears that were turned like bike pedals to make the device move. Around the mid-1700s, the bath chair was popularized, which was very similar to Farfler's original design, just smaller and less boxy looking. Throughout the 1800s, several improvements made these newfangled wheelchairs even better, like rear push wheels and casters, which are wheels that can swivel like on a shopping cart. Eventually, hollow rubber wheels were added, then push rims a few years later. Push rims are metal rings attached to the chair that help make it much easier to push. In 1932, a sleeker steel version of the wheelchair was invented, which was foldable and more lightweight. In the mid-50s, a mass-produced electric wheelchair finally hit the market. Nowadays, inventors around the world are working to come up with cutting-edge ways to give wheelchairs more state-of-the-art technology. Today, doctors can even implant a device that allows patients to move their chairs around just by thinking. And who knows what other breakthroughs will come in the next 30 years? Mm -hmm.